Come on, you stupid thing, come on. All right, where is it? Stupid Gonga, get out of the way. Where's Donkey Kong? There it is. Right, let me just put that box there. And let's see what's inside here. All right, everyone. It's been a while since I've done this. Welcome back to another unboxing video. And today's going to be unboxing of... Well, I don't know why I'm hyping it up. You already know what it is. And I'm obviously just stalling, so I'm trying to find the knife I brought. This is going to be unboxing. I don't know if you can see it, but it's uh, it's from Limited Run Games. Oh, well, that's way better. Why don't I just do that? Look at that. That's way cooler. I'm going to get the knife in there like... I kind of like that, though. That's kind of cool. I like that. All right, anyways. Without further ado, let's not waste time to use my little knife that I got when I was a Boy Scout. I'm just kidding. I was never a Boy Scout. Today, you're going to be feeling the urge for Verge. So, I'm not going to get into the history about this whole thing. Um, you know, the release of this game, because you can find it online. But, basically... Um, this uh, Axiom Verge was supposed to get a physical release on the Wii U, I think back in 2015 or so, maybe 2016. And through a bunch of shenanigans, um, it wasn't able to get released till now. It looks pretty identical to the other releases, to be honest. Life, afterlife, real, virtual, dream, nightmare, it's a thin line. It's Axiom Verge. A failed scientist dies in an accident only to awaken in a mysterious alien world. Where is he? How did he get here? And why do the fundamental laws of reality appear broken? Alright, so let's open this up and watch the value of this immediately drop. Ah. So this uh, went up for sale, I think, I think it was March 29th. They did the batch sale for it. It costed about 40 bucks plus $5 shipping. But to me, it was completely worth it to own potentially the last Wii U release of a game. Not counting, you know, the Just Dance series, so... That's the little, you know, thing that goes on it. We love you, Wii U! You will live on! You will live on! You will... Okay, that's enough. So, let's see. It's very carefully, so I can retain some value. And don't mind the setup, I'm doing this very spur of the moment in a garage. I don't know, I thought it'd be cooler that way. And there it is. Let's see. Oh wait, hold on, let me get a cool shot of the box. Oh, wait, wait, hold on, let me set this up. I planned this out accordingly. There we go. How's that? How's that for a thing? That's kind of cool. Anyways, all right. So I guess we'll put that disc aside for now. Let's look at what other goodies we got in here. So the first thing I'm pulling out is the poster, which I assume is the other posters that came out. Um, unfortunately, I don't have enough room to show the whole thing. So but you can kind of grab the idea of what it looks like. And I think it also has a map on the back. So that's pretty cool. Oh no, I'm spoiling everything. That the side too. The art of Axiom Verge. Oh no, the final bosses don't look. Okay. So this is pretty cool actually. And this is uh, by the creator, Tom Hap. Thank you for purchasing Axiom Verge Multiverse Edition. And uh, I could read the rest, but I mean, it's, it's just an unboxing. Anyone who like really wants to, they can look it up and stuff like that. I can't actually wait to read through this. This is actually pretty cool. Like, I, I know a little bit about the game, but honestly, not that much. So, I'm, I'm quite fascinated. I was actually, I actually have been waiting for the Wii U release to play it. Just because, you know, I made the commitment to do it. So, we get the original soundtrack. 
And then we also have the documentary. So that's going to be pretty cool. I'll probably look at that like after I beat the game though, just so I don't spoil anything. And that's just about it actually. So all this for about 45 bucks. Yeah. If you really love the game, I mean, I would think you would buy this, but you know, aside from just supporting the creators or the creator and the publisher and just to own one of the last Wii U games, like I couldn't help myself. I had to, had to blow the dough on it. If you know what I mean? Actually, that sounded way more sexual than I intended. All right. So let's drop this thing in value. You can watch me try to cut it. Okay, that's good enough. Oops. All right. Let's see. I think the last time I did a Wii U unboxing was Darksiders. Man, that was so long ago now. All right. Let's open it up one last time. Get that new game smell from a Wii U game box last time. And look at that. No instruction manual, um, but just the disc. And watch me break this damn thing like right now. It looks good to me. It looks like a Wii U disc. I always like the Wii U disc. I think I've said this before, but it has like the curved edges. I always like that. It feels very nice in your hand. Um, that's pretty cool cover, not gonna lie. Like that's really like grungy. And kind of the same thing on the back, along with all the little other tidbits. Um, So, I don't know, it's a really good, um, I think it's worth it. I can't wait to play it. Um, I know, I, if I recall right, this particular version of Axiom Verge um, has good gamepad integration, so I'm really looking forward to playing that. And other than that, I would say, you know, to get all this, it's worth it. Like, especially if you're a Wii U fan, especially if you're a fan of this game, especially if you want to support Limited Run, because I know a lot of people... Um, you know, really like how they're able to get physical versions of games they no normally wouldn't be able to get. So, oh, there's the spine. Forgot to show that. So, to me, 40 bucks absolutely worth it. So, let's see. And to be honest, the reason I did this in my garage, because, like I said, I know nothing about Axiom Verge, but I just remember it like, takes place in like a dark corridor-looking area, so I thought it'd be like, oh, you know, the garage and stuff looks cool. Like... Maybe I could do something with the hatters. But let's take a look at the glorious prize once more. This is a terrible shot. I apologize. And I think that'll just about... Hold on, my flashlight's going out. What was that sound? Oh god, what was that? What was... Oh god! <laughs>